Hey guys, WallerD here, we're back for more Pokemon Black subtitle version, and we last left off, it was Autumn in the Dream Yard, and it looks like everyone just got their asses kicked by Hilbert when I wasn't looking. Then again, maybe I was. And this nice lady over here that seems to not stay in place, gave me a nice little pants here that I just named to be a little bit more fitting, but now that we're done with all that, I think what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to explore more of the uh, city that we are in, and then I'm going to take it to the fucking gym leader, because he's going to really need an ass kicking after threatening me with his little grass type attitude. Wait, what the hell, winner? The fuck just happened? Okay, um. Okay, so let me guys get throw throw this out at you. You do remember when I first started out the game, it said Autumn. Here's the thing that you might want to know about this game. This game does have a time passage system, or at least a season system where, depending on the month of the year, and I'm talking about the year that you're living in, uh, basically changes the seasons in the game. So if, for instance, April represents winter, and then the next month is going to be spring, you can probably figure out the rest of the stuff. So. Basically, the game has that kind of set up, and also it has a time system where if it's 8 p.m. in real life while you're playing this game, it's going to be 8 p.m. in this game. So, I don't know... So, I guess Unova has this really weird climate where it basically changes seasons and a year is four months in your lifetime. I don't understand that. But, nevertheless, what's up? Yes, dude, that's pretty much what happens when your Pokemon levels up a lot. Do, 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 some of... So I guess these people are like, this must be the evolving house. What's up? You can't go upstairs now, because Vanilla says she was testing something. She had a scary look on her face. Scary in what way, kid? Oh, you're not going to give me details. What the hell? All right, well, whatever. All right, so I'm going to just check out these houses since I stupidly passed them up earlier. Sup, guy? Oh, trainer. Yeah, I do have plenty of Pokeballs. Are you gonna give me another free- Yes, you are. Ooh, great ball. That's a little bit better. Sweet. Okay, thanks for the free handout, like always. Mm-hmm. Yep, I know. Don't worry. Hilbert probably knows, too. Sup, what's up with you two? Oh, really? Well, that's kind of romantic or sweet. Oh. Um, okay. You couldn't defeat her, yet you wanted to marry her. Is there any motivation behind that, sir? I don't know what to say. I wonder what Hilbert has to say about it. God, you're secretly... Man, I don't know what to say about that couple. If they're happy together, fine, but jeez, I'd be like smacking someone upside the face, mainly the husband. Oh, traveling... Uh, okay, Hilbert, your, your family apparently consists of your mother and your... You're either deceased or deported dad. I don't know where the hell his dad is because I never seen him. And his mother, his mother seems all fine about everything. Oh really? You went abroad? How are you doing on those battles? Do your Pokemon have nicknames? Uh huh. Uh yeah, and to an extent, I'm pretty sure we're all attached to every one of our Pokemon. I mean, for one thing, Snoopy's kicking ass. Oshawott that we don't, still don't really have a name for yet. That means you guys can still suggest. Uh, we're getting detached to everybody. I also want to go over here and grab this thing real quick. And we get an X speed. X speed's going to be pretty nice. I, it's pretty much just like a uh, speed boosting uh, setup where, or a speed boosting item that will basically raise your speed by one level. That's pretty much all I can say. I think I already talked to all you guys. Let's see if we can get up ahead. Ooh. The hell is this? Nice. Looks like someone's doing some quite a bit of good ass trimming here. And there's that damn Pikachu. Of course you're gonna find a Pikachu some out here somewhere out here. You know how tech machines work? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, some guy was sharing that information to me and I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Let's go wait what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. What the fuck? Uh-huh. I'm so glad that you're forcing people to, like, not move on to the next town, but... Wow. 
I don't know what to say about this this culture, Hilbert. What, how do you stand this? It's like, oh, you can't move on because you're not skillful enough. What if some guy was just passing through and saying, I'm trying to get to the next town because there's some freaking major delivery I need to make here, dumbass. I don't know what to say. So apparently this place is just full of Pokemon love and <clears throat> for those that don't like Pokemon, they're fucked. They have to deal with it either one way or another. Alright, Hilbert, do the smartest thing ever and heal up them pokes. And maybe buy some shit, because you got plenty of money gambling earlier. I mean, battling earlier. Okay, so everyone's back to full health, and we're going to check with the shop real quick, because, you know, shopping's important. Hell, that's what the TV tells me all the time. It's like, bar shit, bar shit. It's like, no thanks. I'm trying to do this thing called, you know, having money for more important things, like buying more shit. Damn it. Okay, so yes. There we go. He got more stuff, and now, now I'm like 100% more poor. Awesome. Okay, let's leave. Thanks a lot, buds. Okay, I think we're about ready to take on this gym. This gym looks pretty snazzy, yeah. And we're getting some pretty awesome gym leader or gym music. Sup, Clyde? How you doing? Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guy for trainers challenge at Pokemon Gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Okay, fresh water, sweet. How fresh is it? I guess we'll have to find out when I use it on one of my Pokemon. So it's because it's a very nice healing item. I'd say it's gonna be a one that you can stick around with for a while. I believe it heals about 30 HP, if not a little bit more. Let's take a quick look. Wouldn't hurt. Okay, of course you have all those goodies. Medicine, fresh water, heals 50 HP, holy shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, fresh water. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, so we have this thing. You're probably wondering, whoa, fire is a great what Fail. Of course the game just like says, mm-mm. Basically, what you're guessing here is you're guessing the weakness to what's on the curtain. So, stepping on water will open this shit up. It's like, can't stand the fucking cold! Dead! And it looks like we got trainers along the way. Fa! Oh shit. Uh, sup? Welcome to Stratian Gym! Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course! Oh boy, so this guy looks like he's full of waitering duties today. Well, let me serve you up something fierce. Looks like he just has one Pokemon. That's a shame. Let's go! And, oh, shit is gonna have to... Wow, level 11? Shit, someone's been training. Okay, so it looks like we might have a little bit tricky battle, and he's starting off with Oversleuth. Okay. Bite his ass! Mm. Yeah, let's get a whiff of that punk. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a risk. Just show off how lame Bite is. Urgh, gonna kick your ass. Bite. Shit. Ow. Come on, Shitta. Store that energy. Show off how worthless Bite is. Ow. Damn it. Come on! Beat his ass! Damn. Wow, I guess Bite did kick some serious fucking at you. Yeah! There we go, Chitto. Way to show off Bide the, the correct way. That's why Bide isn't a bad idea. Problem is, is that your Pokemon has to live through the attack to make good use of it. A lot of pepper. I see your, I see your pun, and I raise you a fuck you. Okay, so we're done with that punster tastic guy, and now we gotta solve another puzzle. This is their weakness. All right, as long as you figure this stuff out, this should help you out in the next set of battles coming up. Mainly the gym leader, because if you don't remember this setup, it's probably gonna be bad news for you when you get your ass kicked. La -dee -da 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 -do. All right, I'm gonna switch Snoopy in, because he needs to level up too. Yes, this is my way of, s this is my way of leveling up my Pokemon. I wanna make sure everyone's near the same level, because for it's good to have a team that's all competent, even though some people lack, may lag behind. Okay. Especially if Stration Gym, the full course trainer, deluxe. Okay. I'm your second course. Uh, no thanks. I'm already full from the first guy. 
So it looks like we got a late or waitress trying to kick my ass. Let's see what she has in store. Oh, she has two Pokemon. Sup, Tia? How you doing? My name's my friend's name is Hilbert, and I'm Wadler. Let's see what you got. Snoopy, stop this guy, bury him. Let's see if I'm faster than this guy. Ah, oh, damn it, that's not good. Hmm, this ain't gonna be nice. Well. I think what I can do is I'm going to just spam Leer, because it'll help lower the defense. This is usually my best way to take a, or go against Bide. If someone spams the shit out of this, just use Leer repeatedly. Make them feel stupid for wasting- ah, how fuck that hurts like a hell. Yeah, just make them feel silly for using that move on you, especially if you can predict it coming. And then just destroy him with your own kind of quote unquote bide, aka weakened ass defense to the point of one shotting your opponent. Yeah! Snoopy levels up too. Let's see what we get, Snoopy. Decent stats. Yeah. Ooh, damn, Snoopy. About to make another. Okay, so it looks like we're getting a poor loin in our face. No, it's not a damn steak. Let's see. I feel like this person is going to give me problems. So let's tackle. Not bad. Scratch. Yeah, I've seen that. Ow. Kind of painful. Come on, Snoopy. Kill him. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's all right, so Snoopy just stomps that out. And we get another level. Nice. Okay, looks like Snoopy's going to have to take a break, because damn. It was one of our most popular dishes. Did you enjoy the battle? No, it was very unamusing. Alright, lady. Hope you enjoy your job at waitressing. Okay. Complete your repast. Oh, that didn't make any sense. Nevertheless, burning this leaf. And as you can see, looks like we got a nice little staircase up ahead. You can only imagine one thing about that. But my advice before you actually take on said gem leader, you should always run back to the Pokemon gem... Or Pokemon Center, heal up, and then prepare for your big encounter. Because, uh, not though, note that you can't always do this. Not Well, at least you, you can, but sometimes you might get annoyed by what the gimmick of the uh, Pokemon Gym throws at you. And sometimes the Pokemon Gym will be rather rough. Like, if you save in the... I would not suggest saving in the middle of any Pokemon gym, because if you do, sometimes you might have this infinite loop of fuck. Trust me, you'll you'll notice it. I'll show... I'll point it out. And then you'll be like, damn, okay. Okay, so now we're done with all of them guys, and now... You. You. Gonna kick your... No, I kind of wanted to switch my guy first. I'm chilly. I light things up with fire-type Pokemon. Uh-huh. I'm a water-type specialist. My name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And your name is Sillin. I like grass-type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here is, well, er, just spit it out. Oh, enough. Listen up. Thank you. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It's, it'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. And how the hell you know that I had to choose Pokemon, hmm? The, is this like an everything occurrence? Like, everyone gets their three Pokemon set before them. They're always fire, water, and grass. That just makes me w wonder. It's like, does everyone also live in nu Nubia or Nuvuma? Or Vum it Let's just call it the first town in the fucking game, jeez. This is indeed the case, and the partner you chose first was water type, it seems. Ugh, nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my Poke- my grass type Pokemon uh, will, um... We're gonna battle, come what may. Okay then, let me uh, introduce you directly to the person that might want to hurt the crap out of you. Alright, let's go. So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll, um, put everything I've got into being, er, you know, your opponent. Or, uh, you're, uh, you're nothing like the one in the anime. Gonna kick your ass, imposter! And we're gonna have to fight Ceiling. 
do 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 do. I love this fucking theme. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to LP the shit out of this game. And we get to get introduced to Lillipop. And this Lillipop has a very annoying strategy. So here's my vice. Kick his ass fast. If not, try to disable his ass fast. Work up spam! That's what you're gonna have to deal with. So just drop him. Try to drop him ASAP because work up heal ups your special attack and attack. Oh my Pokemon! Yeah, I'm gonna just drench the hell out of Shit! It! Oh, you dick! Did not think that would go- Fuck! Okay, Oshawott, you need to be much, much faster right now. Yeah, this is not good. Let's see. Um, Snoopy, you're, you're level 11. Get up there. Get up the fucking plate. Come on, asshole. Potion! Damn it. That's bad. I wish I had a growl right now. Alright. Fight! Mmm. Mm. Oh, flinching's good. Mmm. Yeah! Crap. Shit. That hurts. Kicking your face in. Now, the way I first did this battle was very dumb, honestly. I basically had growl and I spammed the shit out while I was spamming work up. You don't want to stall this guy. You just want to kill him fast. Bye bye! Do, 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 do. Now, if you really don't like this theme or don't find it very awesome, just focus on the drums. That's all I'm going to tell you, and that's a pretty level up. I don't know what to say about it, but it's not bad. Snoopy wants to learn Helping Hand. Okay, let's see what to get rid of then. Yes, every time you get more than four moves, I'm pretty sure 99% of the people that know how to play this game know about this. You have to give up one certain move. And let's see, I have enough Leer action, so I think Helping Hand can replace Leer for the moment. Alright, one, two, and... Uh, Ta-da! You can't lose Leer! And now you know Helping Hand! And Oshawa, why are you not leveling up? Hand Sage, oh shit. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah! This is the thing that makes me like this game mucho because this fucking theme will play every time you beat the shit out of all the Pokemon except the last one and it is fucking amazing when I first heard this I was like you didn't just go there game did you and then it's like oh shit you did so yes Pan Sage is gonna be this guy's worst Pokemon or at least it's most dangerous one because it's level 14 a but if you have your Pan say or your Pan Seer you should Oh, you fucking know work up too? Damn it. That's not good. Alright, I'm gonna start burning your ass then. And he's faster than me. Fuck. Ow. Thank god I have freaking resistance to that shit. Die. Mm. Oh, damn. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a long battle. Fuck. Ow. So, yeah, your Panseer is pretty much gonna be key to this victory, because if you don't have this guy. This is gonna not be as smoothly as you hoped. And I really hope you don't kick my guy's ass. Fuck! Oh god. Okay, this is probably gonna be asking for a healing item now, because I worry about the the uh, one-shot crit kind of action, because you know, that usually does seem to pop up at the worst fucking time. Alright, well, time to use that fresh war I got. Thank you, guy that just randomly handed it to me, Clyde guy. Yeah! And full health back. So yeah, pretty much as long as you know what to expect and know what to do, aka beat the crap out of your opponent ASAP, you should get through these battles pretty smoothly. Bye bye, Pan Sage, you made for an awesome first battle. But we are done with your shit and your gimmick. It's super effective. Pan Sage just flopped down on the ground and died. And Brackdrap decides to up his fire. Hey, thanks, Selen. Way to damn go. It, er, is it over yet? Yes, all your Pokemon are down on the ground, and I got money. It's over. Now give me that fucking badge. What a surprise. You are very strong. And you are very shy and... I don't know, indecisive. Seems that not even Chili or Chris could beat you. Um, yeah, I guess you could say that. 
And I get my first fucking badge. Or at least Hilbert does. We both got it, buddy. Yeah. And there we go. Nice. I love that animation. It just, like, drops it right in there. And it has all these nice flashy effects for just a simple putting a badge inside a case effect. So we get our first di our first badge, the trio badge. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's ability, and my burp is trying to make a proof of a damn cameo. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. Yes, every time you beat the crap out of a gym leader, they will be glad. They will not only give you a badge, but they will also give you a TM of some sort. They don't give you HMs in this game. That's kind of interesting to note. But yes, this TM workup is a pretty decent one. You already seen the effects of how dangerous it can be. It contains workup. If you use workup, the Pokémon's attacks a special attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. All right, thanks a lot. I might use it on a certain lily pup of some sort and other things. See you later, fuckers. Tilbert's done with this house. I hope you. Hope you'll always remember the incredible moment when you received that this gym badge. Yeah, it was kind of incredibly odd. Let's see who got here first. You can check these statues to basically know what the gym leaders are and to know who the certified trainers are. It looks like Hilbert's first on this list. Yeah. Wait, does that mean no one else? Wa who are you? Hey there, for now. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. Yeah, well, I guess we're gonna have to figure out what next video, guys. Well, so, uh, next time, guys, we're going to st and learn about uh, Juniper's friend here, Finel. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and audio.